Imagine creating multiple pieces of content with unique text, images, animations, all the things with just a few simple clicks. How much time and brain calories would that save you? I'm assuming a lot. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video using Canva Bulk Create now with images. So if you're ready, let's go. So I create content for real estate agents and I was thinking long and hard as to how real estate agents could utilize Canva bulk create with images. And if you are a real estate agent slinging deals left, right, and center, like my business partners are here at eXp Realty who are partnered with me, then you know who you are actually slay i'm assuming you have multiple testimonials and reviews that you could utilize to create a post and share it across your multiple social media platforms so in this case what we are going to do to start off with is we actually need to go into our canva homepage here we're going to go over to projects because we need to create a designated folder of our client photos so go to add new and just go ahead and hit folder i'm going to name this client photos photos okay continue then i'm going to scroll down go and find that folder and add new once more and then hit upload and go ahead and just pull in all of the client photos that you have i just have two in this case obviously you should have more than me okay and obviously you want to have pictures with your clients or of your clients in this case now you can also go ahead and rename each image so that you won't get confused so client one and i'm going to rename Oop, i don't want to edit the photo i want to just kind of a i want to edit the name okay <laughs> client number two okay now that that is done we can go back into canva and we can search for a client testimonial template because why create from scratch so i have already searched or at least put the the text in here client testimonials make sure you are toggled on to templates here go ahead and hit enter now i recommend finding something that is a square post as this will be most compatible on all the social media platforms and such so in this case i am going to i think i like this one i like this one and if you like this one too i will be sure to put the link of this template down in the description box down below so give it a looky loo this is indeed a pro template so also make sure you find my canva pro link in the description box down below as well or scan this code over here so i'm gonna go ahead and hit customize this template because what we are going to be doing is prepping this template as a template okay so in this case i am just going to go ahead and put client client testimonial i'm going to just increase this here you can obviously go ahead go ahead and change the text change the colors or the font i meant change the font and then i'm going to go in and just delete this image out of this phone here i'm going to delete this image here and i'm going to put myself in there so i'm going to just i like this one i'll use this one then i'm actually going to name this text box here just client name i'm going to remove this text box here i'm going to put the stars up here and you know what? i might make this just a little bit bigger it might make sense to actually put the client photo there but you know what? i'm just gonna put it put put your face there it will make sense so i'm going to make this a little bit smaller the text here because we want to make sure that if we are generating multiple reviews the at least the design here that if we have a long review there will be enough room on here to work with so we don't have to do too much adjusting if you will now in this case for this box this is obviously going to be where the client review is and a cool thing that we can do here is actually give this an animation so i'm going to go down to here so if you see this hide pages if i close that out this is typically what you would normally see and if you have multiple pages it would be a running list of images but sometimes when i'm designing i just like to 
push this up show pages and it gives me kind of this timeline at the bottom and you'll see here down here duration so you can click that open and you can manually just pull this if you'd like or you can go up to here to this edit timing and just go ahead and put 20 seconds or so so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Once we have changed the page duration, then I'm going to go ahead and click on this text box here. And then I'm going to go up to animate. And then for me personally, I like the type writer effect here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And I'm just going to leave it just on the enter for animate. And you can also change the speed or, you know, the word there or character but this seems to be really fast. There we go. Something like that. So that should be sufficient. Now, in this case, I'm going to also, obviously you can go in here and put your website. <laughs> so let me put in mine. Sorry for the interruption. Let me drop this introduction. I sell Canva templates on Etsy for my real estate agent besties. I don't have a beat on this track because I am not a rapper, a singer. All I do is help agents prosper. Scan this code right here and you'll be a winner. Or find the link to my Etsy shop in the description box down below. Subscribe for the Goo Goo Vibes and let's get back to the video. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And then, of course, being in real estate, you want to make sure that you have your brokerage logo and your logo if you have one. So I'm just going to put EXP. EXP is where we're set. Okay, then I'm going to go and actually edit this image. I'm just going to put a shadow just so you can see it stand out a little bit more. Just like that. And obviously, if you have your personal logo, I'm going to go and grab that. This one is mine here. So I'm going to put it down in the other corner like that and i made this logo on canva so if you want to learn how to make your own logo kind of this emblem here then definitely check out this video which i will link in the cards above and in the description box down below to learn how to make a logo for yourself so i'm going to also add a shadow to that as well and if i just zoom out here that is what that would look like. Obviously, you can change. I think this is just, let's see here. If we go to positions, we can see all of the elements on this page here. I think this is a photo. I'm not sure if this is. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I kind of like that. I'm going to do that. And you know what? I'm going to make this text, this cream color here. I'm probably going to go in and make the... The corners around it. Okay. Okay, doggy. Okay, do I'm gonna maybe move this up a little bit. And there we go. That should be sufficient. I'm actually gonna go in and make this that cream color as well. So now that we've made a template of our template, we also we are then ready to move on to the next step. Now, one thing to be very mindful of when it comes to using bulk create with images, you do want to make sure that this image frame is a frame and to find a frame on canva you just go over to elements scroll down and go into frames here you can see all and you have to choose one of these frames or hopefully if you have chosen a template from canva that that designer has used a frame from the elements library because that is what is going to make this work so once you have a template of your template we can now go ahead and create a Excel sheet, or in this case, I'm going to create just a Google sheet to just keep track and log all of my client testimonials. So I'm going to go and add new and then go to Google Sheets and open up a new one. Now I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see what I'm doing. Then I'm going to put the first column as client name and the second column as re review. Obviously, we can populate the names here. And then I just have just, I generated some fake testimonials from ChatGPT to show you how to do this. So I'm just going to paste this from my notes on my other screen here. Something like that. Now, I do have other tutorials on my channel where I do use Canva bulk 
create. But at that time, we didn't have Canva Bulk Create with images. So normally what I would do in this case would be to click file, go to download, and then download this as a comma separated value or CSV file. And I would then take that file and upload it into Canva to generate the multiple posts. But unfortunately in this case, when it comes to generating multiple posts with Canva Bulk Create with the images, we will have to manually copy and paste our columns into Canva, but that's okay. It's not that hard, I promise you. I'm just gonna go ahead and first select this here. I'm gonna select the first three rows here. So Command or Control C based on your system. We're gonna go back into the template here. We're gonna go into the, right here, apps. And we're gonna search for Canva Bulk Create here. And this is, this is indeed a Canva Pro tool, which I probably should have mentioned in the beginning, sorry. But just gonna go there to try Canva Pro for 30 days free and to see if you like this particular tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and just enter data manually. And then here, I'm going to just click this column up here to select the whole thing. I'm just going to command V to copy that over. Go back into the Google Sheet here. I'm going to just copy these three rows here and go back into here and again we want to click the skinny kind of box there to select the whole thing and just command v and now we're going to add the column for the images so go ahead and add image now remember in the beginning how we created a folder a designated folder for our client photos so we're going to extract those photos and to put it here so i'm going to hit the plus button there then I'm gonna go and find client photos here. And then I'm going to put, let's put client one here. And then put client two there. And once you have, hopefully you have more than, let's say five, so you can make this worthwhile. Then once you have that all generated, then you can go in and just click the done button. Now at this point, what we have to do is connect the data, these fields to the elements on our design. So the first thing is we're going to click the text box for the client name. You'll see here client, or sorry, connect data. So then we want to look for a client name. So I'm gonna connect that field to that text box. And then for this text box, I'm going to connect the data to the client or the client review down here. Alrighty, now next thing up, we want to connect this image frame to obviously the image column. There we go. Now, once that is all connected, we can go ahead and just hit continue. Now what Canva is going to do, it is going to generate another document. So go ahead and hit continue. And then we're gonna generate those two designs there. It's gonna create another document and pull us into another tab here. And you can see here we have our two designs here. I'm just going to hit duration so we can see that this is indeed the 20 seconds. So if I give this a playback, you can obviously see it. It for some reason has flipped to my image here. I'm not sure exactly why. I'm going to actually flip this one back like that. And then you can see here that we did do a good job of making sure that we made this text box long enough so that it will, it fits the whole testimonial. So I'm just going to just adjust this very ever so slightly. And then I'm just going to go ahead and give this a playback here. And we can see that, oops, we can see that the text is texting. Or if you want to see it in the big view, you can go up here and just give this a, a play. And you can see that this is what the testimonial post will look like. You obviously can go in and put in more animations if you wanted to, but I think just having that is good enough. Sometimes too much going on, it's not too good. So just keep it plain and simple. And at this point you are ready to just export. So if you go to the share button up top here, go to download, make sure you are in the MP4 video file. You can also choose the quality. So you can pump this up a little bit more to just make it extra crispy if you wanted to, but Typically speaking, just the original quality is fine for social media. And now the next thing is you wanna click this toggle here. It says download pages as separate files. So this way you can export in one setting the multiple videos because if you don't toggle this on Canva thinks that this is just one continuous timeline and then it's going to export everything together as one video. At this point, just go ahead and hit download and you are ready to roll. So if you made it to the end of this video, then you know what it is, you know what to do. 
Yeah. Comment down below, hashtag N crew. Let me know in the comments down below if you are going to use this and how you like it. But if you want to learn more about Canva and how to use Canva AI to create video edits of let's say your real estate listing with one single click, yes, one click, then be sure to check out this video right over here. And if you're ready, get ready to click in three, two, one.